the launch of Creo is obviously very, very exciting. Uh, it's exciting for our customers, probably most importantly. It's exciting for PTC, and I think generally it's exciting for the CAD market. You know, this is an opportunity for PTC to help tackle some of the biggest unsolved problems in CAD, problems that have been resident for years, believe it or not. And really, it's an opportunity for us to help unlock the potential that's latent in our customers' product development environments. We're really excited about it. You know, obviously, the most important consideration in developing Creo has been our customers, our valued customers. Customers that are using Pro Engineer today, Co-Create today, Product View today, all of them, in a way, have been part of the launch and the development of Creo. We have 25,000 valued customers and companies that count on PTC every day for their uh, enhancements and in, in, uh, capabilities in product development. And it's those 25,000 valued companies that were sort of tantamount during the development of Creo. Creo is born from the elements of Pro Engineer and co creating Product View. Really, what we've done is to take in the best of those products, the elements of those products, together with tons of new development and patent pending new technology improvements, and put them together with a deep integration into Windchill, which is our market leading PLM system. And out of those elements has come the vision for CAD for the next 25 years. Out of those elements has come Creo. Because of that technical connection, between those three products and Creo, we are now rebranding or renaming three of our existing products as Creo products. Pro Engineer is now known as Creo Elements Pro. CoCreate is now known as Creo Elements Direct. And Product View is now known as Creo Elements View. The prefix on those names, the Creo portion of those names, is really the product's connection to the future. It's the nod to the future. It's the fact that, that uh, these products are all, by their very nature, connected to the future of where we're going with CAD. And the suffix, the slash pro, slash direct, and slash view, is really the nod to the past, the rich heritage from where these products have come. And the element section in the middle of that naming scheme is the connection between the future and the past, or the rich heritage. So really the renaming or the rebranding of uh, these products really is a, is, a, is a testament to the fact that these are the same great products. It's still Pro Engineer and Co-Create in Product View, but now rebranded under this Creo name with a connection, an obvious connection to the future. Customers should really be confident in knowing that their use of Pro Engineer and co create in Product View is completely safe and is the best investment that they can make in the future of CAD. They're with us on this actually very short path to the vision of Creo. You know, nothing could be more important to us than the commitment that we have to our customers. You know, in a way, in a strange way, really, I've got a very, very long heritage with Pro Engineer. I've been with the company for a very long time, have spent a, a lot of my time and energy at the company branding Pro Engineer and driving the Pro Engineer name into the marketplace. So it's a little bittersweet to rebrand Pro Engineer and co create and product view. But that said, you know, I couldn't be more excited to see these three products really as the elements from which are going to come the next revolution in CAD. It's really very, very exciting for the users of Pro Engineer and co create and product view.